we have a wave form we have a wave form so we have a wave form okay and wave form is like this in this wave form three impulses are available like this this is the wave form of d square ft upon dt square with respect to time weight of positive impulse is 1 <coughs> and weight of negative impulse is minus 2 locations are 1 0 minus 1 0 and 1 and for this signal we have to find out Fourier transform we have to find out Fourier transform of signal ft so suppose for ft Fourier transform is f of omega then by using this waveform we have to find out f of omega so how we are going to proceed we will write down this d square ft upon dt square in the form of impulse so it will be like this d square ft upon dt square will be equal to delta t plus 1 plus delta t minus 1 minus 2 delta t so i have written positive impulses um, with each other and uh, i have written negative impulse as a third term now we will apply Fourier transform on this relationship so if you will differentiate two times then you have to multiply j omega whole square with f of omega so this is the property of differentiation in time and by using time shifting property for delta t plus 1 Fourier will be e k power j omega for this term e k power minus j omega and for 2 delta t Fourier transform is 2 <coughs> so f of omega now combination of these two will convert into cos so first term is 2 cos omega next term is minus 2 divided by j omega whole square so what is j omega whole square it will be equal to j square omega square and j square is minus 1 so we will write down minus omega square in the denominator so answer is like this 2 in bracket 1 minus cos 1 minus cos omega divided by omega square because if you will if you will multiply numerator and denominator with minus sign then denominator we have to write in plus sign and these two terms will be interchanged now if you look at all four options then option d will satisfy this result <coughs>